Hello! In this video, we will learn about copying and pasting skin. Before we begin, we must keep two things in mind. The first thing is that the copy and paste weights feature works only on different skinned meshes. The only way it works on one single mesh is if it is done from one vertex to many vertices on the same mesh. So, for example, I will copy this vertex and I can paste it to as many vertices as I want, like so. The second thing we want to keep in mind is that when copying and pasting between two different meshes, both meshes must already be bound to a skeleton. They do not need to be the same skeleton, so if you have two different characters, it can be uh, copied from one to the other, but they can be also two meshes that are bound to the same skeleton in one character. So first I will show you the best process for copying the skin to a different character with a different shape. Here I have already opened my Aki boy with his skinning complete. So now I will import the mesh and skeleton of the troll. In check pose, you want to play around with the joint positions of your source model skeleton so that it fits the size and shape of your target model as best as possible. So I will go ahead and display my joints and I will hide this hierarchy. Oh. Hide hierarchy. And then I can expand this one and start changing the position of my Aki boy. Actually, I will hide his this and this. Okay. Once the two models look quite similar in shape and size, you are ready to copy and paste your skin. Keep in mind that your target skin must already be bound in smooth to a skeleton. What we will first do is go into your tree and either select the character or a joint from your source character. Now we can shift, click and drag to select the vertices of the source character. What we can do now is deselect any vertices that we do not want to use to paste our skin. Okay, 
And now I will go ahead and click on the copy weights tool in the skin atelier. Now you can see that the copied vertices are blue. This will also restrict us from selecting vertices of the same mesh. So now we can go into our tree again and either select our troll character, which will be our target character, or any of the joints of our target character. Now if we shift, click, and drag, only the target character's vertices have been selected. And you can see that those are displayed as well as the blue copied ones and they're distinguished by a different color. So now we can go ahead and click on the paste button in the skin atelier. And because both of our characters have different joint names, you can see here I have my source influences and these are the names of the joints on that character and here is our target influences. And you can see here that a lot of the influences are blank, or it says drag target influence. And here are the target influence joints that are not listed here. So what we want to do is select the joints here and put them over on this side to match the joints of our source. So I will go ahead and put spine where my stomach is. I will do upper chest on the torso, so because my source character only has two joints for the stomach and torso, but this one has three, I can only choose two. Um, and then you can see here I have smile, eye, pupil, a bunch of face joints and hair joints that I won't be using on my troll. So I will skip those, and here I have shoulder and arm for the right side. So here's my upper arm and lower arm. So I will drag and drop those there and here I have thumb, index, middle, ring, and little. So I can just drag those over. Here I have the left arm and then all the fingers And now here I have my legs, so I will do upper leg, lower leg, foot, and toes for the right side, and the same for the left side. Okay, and then here I do have left eye and right eye. And I can probably put jaw and a smile. Okay, and now I will click on my paste button. And now you can see that the weights have been pasted onto my new character. Now I will show you the process for copying skinning to an updated mesh that has had geometry modifications. Meaning that if I had completely rigged a character and decided that I wanted to change the mesh by smoothing it or making any kind of changes to the model, then I can use the copy paste workflow to save me time from having to reskin the mesh again. So first what I will do is I will open the source file. So here's my source character, and I will duplicate the character. So duplicate hierarchy. Now you can see that I have the same character again, both with the skeleton and the skinned meshes. Now I can import the new mesh. Here is my new mesh, and the changes I have made is just added uh, more geometry to it. And now I will go ahead and delete the body from my duplicate character. And I will add the new body to that character. And I will go ahead and skin it 
to the duplicated skeleton. So I can either select all of the joints and skin it or just one joint works too. And make sure you are in skin and check and click on your rigid bind and also make sure to do the smooth bind. So now I have my fully bound mesh on there. Now what I will do is that because our source and target models are completely similar other than the small changes to the mesh, we don't actually need to transform the source like we did previously. So the only thing I will do is go into my tree and select the source character and shift and drag to select all of the vertices and I can because I only changed the body I can alt drag to deselect the face and now on my keyboard on my number pad I can continuously select the minus button to deselect the rest of the vertices on those meshes so that's the meshes for the head and the eyes and the teeth and tongue. So you can see those are not selected anymore. And now I can go ahead and go into skin and check and copy the skin or the weights. Now you can see that those weights are blue. And what I can do is go back into my tree, select either my duplicated character or any of the joints. And again, shift and drag to select all of the vertices from that duplicated character. And again, Alt and minus. And now you can see that the blue vertices are still selected. They are still copied. And the new selection is the yellow vertices. So I can go ahead and paste. And now if I hide this hierarchy, so my original model, now you can see that my new mesh is now completely skinned correctly to the new skeleton. Now we will go over using the copy-paste process for skinning additional parts, like adding clothes or props to a character. First, I will go ahead and open my character. And now you can see that I have my cape in my scene. So if you already don't have your clothes or props in your scene, you want to go ahead and import them. And notice that my cape fits the body pretty well at the top. The bottom, of course, I will want to keep flowy, so after I use the copy-paste process, I can fix that later on. So for now, I will go ahead and bind my mesh to the same skeleton, since I do want this mesh on the same character. So I select any of the joints, and make sure you are in rigging, skin and check and that your joint and mesh is selected. And now I will rigid bind and smooth bind. Okay, now that is all bound and so you can see that if I move my shoulder the cape does not move but if I move my hips then that is bound. Now I will go ahead and select the vertices of my character's body so I can shift select one vertice since we are on the same skeleton all of the objects uh, I will select the vertices this way because if I shift and drag on the whole body then it'll select all the objects so shift select one vertice and then press on the multiply key in your keypad in your number pad and that selects all of the vertices and then you can copy your weights. You can see that they turn blue. And now the same for selecting the cape. I will shift select on one part and then 
press on my star or multiply key in my number pad to select all of the capes vertices and now I will paste. And now you can see that the cape has been rigged to the rest of the body.